Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity. Verify IPv4 and IPv6 addressing. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you are watching our channel first time or if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video and also if you like to get more technical contents or if you like to contact our team you can visit our website a link I given in the description below okay now coming back to our packet tracer activity uh, here we can see our addressing table uh, and uh, here we can see it's incomplete we have to complete this PC1 and PC2 okay in this activity we will complete the addressing table documentation then we will test connectivity using ping command and finally we will discover the path by tracing the route here is the background dual stack allows ipv4 and ipv6 to coexist on the same network in this activity we will investigate a dual stack implementation including documenting the IPv4 and IPv6 configuration for end devices. Testing connectivity for both IPv4 and IPv6 using ping and tracing the path from end to end for IPv4 and IPv6. Complete the addressing table documentation. Okay, we will go ahead. Uh, step 1. Use IP config to verify IPv4 addressing. Click PC1 and open the command prompt. Then enter the IP config space slash all command to collect the IPv4 information. Fill in the addressing table with the IPv4 address submit to mask and default gateway. Now we will go to uh, PC1. Then we will open command prompt. Then we will give that specified command its IP config forward slash all. Now we will copy this IPv4 address. Okay, then coming to our spreadsheet. Here we can see our addressing table for PC1. Here we will paste that IPv4 address. Then here, submit to mask. It's here. Okay. Then it's a default gateway. Next is click PC2 and open the command prompt then enter the IP config space uh, forward slash all command to collect the IPv4 information. Fill in the addressing table with the IPv4 address, submit to mask and the default gateway. Coming to our topology, here we can see our PC2. Okay, we will go to command prompt and here we are going to give the command the IP config all. And here we can see IPv4 address details. We will copy this IPv4 address and coming to our spreadsheet for PC2 IPv4 address. Then it's a sub to mask. Okay, and it's a default gateway. Now coming to step 2, use IPv6 config to verify IPv6 addressing. On PC1, enter the IPv6 config space slash all command to collect the IPv6 information. Fill in the addressing table with the IPv6 address, submit to prefix and default gateway. We will do that coming to PC1, command prompt. we are going to give IPv6 config all and here we can see IPv6 address 
so we will copy this uh, ipv6 address including its prefix pc1 okay we will paste here then it's a default gateway it's here fe80 double colon 1 it's here Next is on PC2, enter the IPv6 config slash all command to collect the IPv6 information. Fill in the addressing table with the IPv6 address, submit to prefix and it's a default gateway. Coming to PC2, command prompt, control C. Here we will give the command IPv6 config or and here we can see its IPv6 address with, with its prefix. We'll copy that and coming to our addressing table, we'll paste it here. Then it's a default gateway. Okay, it's done. Now in part 2, test connectivity using ping. Step 1. Use ping to verify IPv4 connectivity. From PC1, ping the IPv4 address for PC2. Was the result successful? Okay, we will uh, get PC2 IPv4 address. It's here. We will copy that. Now coming to our uh, PC1. We'll go to command prompt. And we will uh, give the command uh, ping to PC2 using its IPv4. And we are waiting for the replies. Yes, we get the replies here. Next is uh, from PC2, ping the IPv4 address for PC1. Was the result uh, successful? Obviously, it should succeed because we ping from PC1 to PC2. Okay, anyways, we will get uh, IP before address of PC1. It's here. And uh, now we will go to PC2 and we will ping to PC1. Coming to command prompt. Ping to PC1. And here we can see it's working. Next is coming to step 2. Use the ping to verify IPv6 connectivity. From PC1, ping the IPv6 address for PC2. Was the result successful? We will verify that. First of all, we will get IPv6 address of the device PC2. We will copy this address. And to coming to PC1, command prompt. Ping to PC2 using its IPv6 address. Yes, it's working. Now from PC2, ping the IPv6 address of PC1. Uh, was the result successful? Obviously, it will uh, succeed. We will get a PC1 IPv6 address. It's here. Okay, now coming to PC2. We will go to command prompt and here is the command ping to PC1 using its IPv6 address. It's working. Now we will go to part 3 discover the path by tracing the route. Step 1 use the tracer to discover the IPv4 path. From PC1, trace the route to PC2. So we have to give this command, tracer, space, then PC2, IPv4 address, 10.10.1.20. Here we will copy this uh, command. Okay. Now we will go to PC1. Then coming to command prompt. okay and here we can see four addresses 
Now we have some questions. What addresses were encountered along the path? So here we can see those addresses. 10.10.1.97, 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 
then coming to PC one command prompt here we will paste that tracer command okay and here also we can see uh, four addresses for IPv6 addresses here they repeat the same questions what addresses were encountered along the path so here we can see those addresses and with which interfaces are the four addresses associated so here we can see first IPv6 address This first IPv6 address is associated to this interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 in this router R1. Uh, we can verify that. We will give a show IPv6 interface brief and we can verify that uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and here we can see that IPv6 address. Next address is 2 double colon 1 the IPv6 address of this interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 in this router R2 we can verify that show IPv6 interface brief and here we can see serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 with the same address here yes coming to the third IPv6 address it's a uh, one colon three double colon two this is the IPv6 address for this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 in this router R3 we can verify that using this command show IPv6 interface brief and uh, here we can see serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and it's uh, IPv6 address it's matching yes and finally we can see our destination IPv6 address the address of our device PC2 now we will trace it from PC2 uh, trace the route to the IPv6 address for PC1 so we have to get this PC1 IPv6 address uh, it's here okay we will copy that then coming to PC2 command prompt trace it and the PC1 the IPv6 address and here we can see four addresses we received what addresses were encountered along the path so here we can see those IPv6 addresses and with which interfaces are the four addresses associated so here we can see our first IPv6 address it's a four double colon one uh, the IPv6 address for this interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 uh, in this router R3 here we can see second IPv6 address it's a three double colon one uh, this is the IPv6 address for this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash one in this router R, R2 then here we can see IPv6 address uh, 2 double colon 2 uh, this is IPv6 address for this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and finally we can see our destination IPv6 address uh, address of our uh, device PC1 it is a small but simple packet tracer activity uh, verify IPv4 and IPv6 addressing now dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions uh, regarding this packet tracer activity please comment below also if you like our video give a thumb and share with all your friends also don't forget to visit our website link i given in the description below stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video thank you